it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are getting my life back together. Here's a picture of me from yesterday. Yeah, you girls been going through it. Let me just explain. My mental health has been doing good. And I know I talk about my mental health all the time on this channel. It's usually me struggling with it. But in my most recent Q&A, I told you guys that I've been doing good with my mental health. I've been happy. And I still stand by that statement. Because that's not the problem. This time, it's my physical health. My body has been so exhausted lately. And I think a big reason for that is dance. Because it's currently comp season. So I've just been putting my body through a lot. And I just find myself so, so tired at the end of every single day. So I was crying in that one photo because my body just needs a break and i did give it a break yesterday i spent the whole day literally sleeping and now i feel good i feel recharged but it's a new day and it's time to get my life back in order there are a bunch of areas in my life right now that just need cleaning reorganizing and i feel like i've been putting them off to the side which has had a big effect on my productivity and motivation so i'm filming this video in hopes that i get everything that i want to done just so that i can feel productive and motivated again and hopefully have a fresh start moving forward so with all that being said i hope you guys enjoy this video hopefully you can use this video as motivation as well and now let's get my life back together. All right, first things first, I'm gonna show you guys my room because this is probably the biggest thing that I've been putting off to the side and now it's a literal mess. Usually I keep my room really tidy, you know, I clean it pretty often, but I don't remember the last time I put my clothes away, so it's gone pretty bad. Let me just show you guys. Okay, this is what it looks like. There are things everywhere and it's not like dirty. Like I just have clothes and other items to put away, but like I said, I just haven't let it get this bad in like forever. And I don't know about you guys, but when my room's a mess, my life's a mess. So this is why it's the first thing that we're tackling in this video. Before we start cleaning though, I just want to give you guys a little tour and explain what's going on. When you walk in, you see that my bed's not even made, which is the first red flag because this is like the easiest thing ever and I haven't even done that. To the right, I have the first big pile of clothes. And these are actually clothes that I want to give away and donate. I've actually been going through my closet and trying to declutter clothes. I probably did this like a week ago and it's just been sitting here in the corner. So that's that. I also have my school backpack, which is not supposed to be there. Walking more over here, I have my nightstand area, which is also a mess. Cords and my charges are everywhere and then we just have like a bunch of items that are out of place. Now we have the bench that's in front of my bed which is the second pile of clothes. These are also clean. I just have to put them away like fold them in my drawers or hang them up and speaking of hangers they're right there. <laughs> Turning over here, we have my dresser and it's more stuff that I have to put away. This area is not too bad, but like it still doesn't look organized. And then here is my closet and surprise, surprise, there's more clothes that I have to put away. And last part of my room, which is my desk area. Thankfully, this isn't too bad. Well, we have my bookshelf, which is very crowded and I definitely need new shelves, but this will be really easy to clean. Okay, enough talking. It's time to clean my room. Tell me I'm wrong when I say the same things that you say. gosh it looks so much better i can finally walk oh my gosh i'm so happy also that literally only took like 15 minutes because my mom was helping me mom yes, <laughs> Hello. thanks queen lifesaver next we're gonna tackle my jacket closet because not only do we clean out my main closet in my room but then we also went through the clothes in here so we're just gonna sort through these again and then put them in trash bags and then hopefully later today we can work on poshmark because i really want to sell these so then you guys can maybe get them and then if not i'll donate them time to put these in trash bags Bye. Next thing on my agenda is getting my nails done and Christian's taking me. It's out of the vlog. Hi. And guess what guys? He just got confirmed and accepted into a music program at his college. Everyone applause for Christian. Woo! Good job! Yeah, now it's time to go to the nail salon. I think this is my second video I'm posting in February, but I'm getting some Valentine's nails. And no, I do not have a Valentine. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Here are my nails right now. I've had these like nude, just like non-colored nails because I have comp and we can't have any bold colors on our nails. But my next performance is until February 23rd or like later during the end of February. So I plan on getting nails right now and then I'll just get a new set before that performance. I'll put on the screen the inspo pics that I found. Maddie actually sent me these. I think it was on her explore page or something, but then she was like, I could totally see you getting these. So I'm gonna show this to my nail tech and hopefully she can do it. Every design I get, she always does a really good job. I'm also gonna get a pedicure. Right now I have nothing on my toes. Oh shoot, I put on 
tennis shoes. I meant to put on sandals. Oops. But I'm either gonna get pink or red. I haven't really decided. But I'm super excited to get my nails done. Yeah. Some people wanna tell you what they want you to do. But I'm gonna live my life. Why don't you just live your Oh, I like how they're small. Yeah, you didn't get them. Oh yeah, crazy. I didn't get them long. Here's what they look like. She did such a good job. Darlene did my nails, like my fingernails, and then Kathy did my toes. I just got like a hot pink. I always get those too. She always assigns Kathy for my pedicure. Really? Yeah. But they turned out so well. I'm super happy with them. They're like cute and little too. Like I didn't get tips to make them longer. And then she did them coffin as well. Mmm, so cute. <laughs> Thanks. Want to show mine? Oh yeah, she got them done last week. <laughs> now we're gonna go back home and keep going with this video me and mom are eating ramen and i don't know how this pertains to getting my life together but ramen makes everything better so okay. we're also watching friends <laughs> now mom and i are gonna go through my comp bags because <laughs> dad just walking around shirtless <laughs> I had a comp this recent Saturday and she did amazing. Oh, thanks mom. But I have a duffel bag, a backpack. <laughs> My cowboy hat literally has a clear mask and a tampon in it. So do you keep these for the next one? Yeah. Okay. But we just have to go through all of it because I have like dirty costumes and then my makeup to put away. So we're gonna do that right now. So wash? Yes. Recycle. Here, where's that tampon? <laughs> Look guys, this is guppy. Who gave you that? Ashley. It's literally so cute. I know. This is the mad side. And then here's the... Oh, did you label all your things? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. good. Also, a lot of people have been asking like where are the comp vlogs. I haven't filmed. We've had two so far and I haven't filmed either of them. Sorry about it. I do plan on filming the next one. So. Sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they've been like asking for it. So. Oh, okay. Okay. My bad. I think the next one should be end of... February, so hopefully I'll film that one. In here is all of my makeup that I used. So I'm gonna bring this up to my room and then put it all in the drawers. <laughs> wash, wash. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even smell. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, but like. bags are done my mom's gonna put all of my costumes in the wash right now and i'm gonna bring this up to my room and like organize everything else this was a success moving on now i'm going to be doing some reading i think i mentioned this in my q a as well but i've been in a reading slump lately like january i did not read at all besides the book i did for shelf love but i'm hoping in february that i get back into my groove my goal this month is to read at least five books which is very doable because i used to read like over 10 so i'm hoping this month i will get through some new reads but right now i'm going to open my literati box for this month if you guys did not know i have a book club called shelf love i pick a book out every single month and then literally send it to you guys and then we can read it together throughout the month and also chat on the literary app it's a really fun time last month we read one of us is lying by karen and mcmanish and it was so much fun chatting with you guys so i can't wait for this month's read if you guys are already in the club you guys know how the boxes look like but if you're not this is how the boxes from literati are sent you get a note from me and then as you can see it says shelf love and then i signed it there's a sticker in here and then it comes with this month's book all right, so for February's read, we are reading A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. This is one of my five-star reads. I read it last, wait, I, I, I forget. I forget when I read it. It was August or September of last year, but I gave it five stars and I really wanted to share with you guys. So yeah, this is what we're reading for Shelf Love. Also on the book, it has a little sticker saying Shelf Love. So yeah, I'm gonna do some reading right now, literally just in my bed. <laughs> It's like an hour later, I got through 20% of the book, which is really good. I already shed a few tears, <laughs> but now I'm going to prepare for school. So if you guys watched my last video, which was the finals week vlog, you guys know that half of my sophomore year is already done with. Um, semester one is over with, and then now it's semester two. Thankfully, I don't have any homework assignments to do right now. I just have to print some notes and then get my backpack all together. Also, look how dirty my backpack is. So I'm gonna print some notes for chemistry and then algebra. 
All right, while all that is printing, I'm gonna write down some goals for myself in my planner for semester two. This is my Erin Contran planner that my brother got me for Christmas. It says 2022 and then Colano right here. But I think goal setting is very beneficial because then you can write down like things you wanna accomplish and then figure out what steps you need to take in order to accomplish them. So I'm gonna go to the February page and just write down a few things in this little box. I just wrote down four. I'll probably add more throughout the month, but the four that I chose are procrastinate less, maintain a good GPA, have a good comp season, and then enjoy sophomore year. These are the goals that I have so far for semester two. For those of you who are still in school, I wish you the best in whatever classes you're taking and hope you have a good rest of your school year. But that is everything I have to do. I'm just gonna get the papers from the printer and then put them in my backpack and I am all prepped for school. It's now nighttime. I went to dinner with my family and then also there was a basketball game at my school, so I went to that as well. But the last thing we're going to do for today Day and the last thing in this video is a night routine. I had a really good night routine going for the first like two, three weeks of January, but then I kind of fell out of it. So I really want to get back to it because I honestly just felt so good when I did it. I was doing things to unwind and then also going to bed at a decent hour. So I want to start doing that again. For right now, I'm going to hop into the shower, then do my skincare, brush my teeth, and then I should be ready for bed. So time for my night routine. Mm -hmm. Up in the back seat, driving to you on the back streets. All the other ones are asking, but I don't give a fuck, they nasty. I'm just trying to find you, cause I don't got no ties. We're running out of time, so I'll be home tonight. guys this is the end of the video and by the way yes i have my retainers in so i have a list but you guys have no idea how helpful this day was for me and i'm feeling so productive and super motivated if any of you guys are going through times of lack of motivation i hope this video finds you well and makes you want to accomplish the things that you've been putting off to the side for the rest of the night i plan on reading and then getting enough sleep for school tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to like and comment down below subscribe to my channel turn on notifications and go cop some coli merch i'll see you guys back with another video i love you guys so so much stay positive Bye. Come on.